A tribunal has ordered former Australian Senator Fraser Anning to take down social media posts that vilify Muslims. It's the first known case of a politician breaching anti-discrimination laws. Josh Robertson from ABC Investigations has the story. For these young Australians, slurs against Muslims on social media are no game. Some people say words can't hurt someone, but it's not true. Especially when those hateful words come from an elected representative. I don't think Anning represented anybody. To be honest, I would like to call him an accidental senator. That's what he was. In office, Queensland Senator Fraser Anning copped public hits for his anti-Muslim comments. Now he's the first known Australian politician who's been found to have unlawfully vilified some of his own constituents. Politicians often think that they have free licence to say what they want and that can really embolden people to attack people from migrant backgrounds on the street. In a landmark win for Muslim advocates, the Queensland Civil and Administrative Tribunal has ordered Mr Anning to remove 141 online posts. They include his infamous comments blaming the Christchurch massacre on Muslim immigration. This is a moment where we can say to politicians in Australia, there is a line, please don't cross it. What we've seen here is that a politician who made these comments while he was a senator, while he was an elected member of the Australian Parliament, can still be held to account. It's really significant. Fraser Anning failed to appear at the tribunal and he couldn't be reached for comment. The posts are still online. The former senator has until August 27 to delete them. For now, anti-discrimination laws have laid down the community standard for those in power. Josh Robertson, ABC News, Brisbane.